This is ECU E78. In my previous videos, I have shown you how to use the Ulink NT through the Canvas to program the uh, ECU both in the regular mode or in uh, boot assistant mode. Uh, this video, we are going to show the JTAG method. This is for the advanced user when they do need a fast speed or they mess around with the, uh, the ECU a lot. Uh, one thing you need to do is using the band mode to reprogram the shadow uh, memory. I'm going to talk to this a little bit later, but this is not for everyone, uh, only for advanced user, but this is for demonstration purposes and it is very, very fast to use the JTAG method. So in order to have the JTAG method work, first you need to reprogram the shadow with the censorship uh, word programmed. Also, you need to have this resistor, same as in band mode, to solder on. In here, I'm soldering 150 ohm resistor. You can also solder a, a 200 ohm resistor work. It also works. And these pins are JTAG pins. Uh, I soldered the, the pin headers on it. And the U-Link NT is here. This is the ground. And this pin is JCOM. This, this is TDO, so it's the uh, orange. This pin is uh, JCOM, which is the gray. The very last one was the, the T. <clears throat> the very last is the TCK, which is our green wire. The second one was uh, is the TDI, use the brown. The third one from the left side here, the third one is uh, TMS, it's the purple. The next one is the JCOM, is the uh, gray. So we can make the connection to the USB hub here. I'm going to power on. Uh, in the software, uh, this is the diagram for the uh, JTAG connection. Uh, in the software, the, the target we are selecting is in, under the JTAG PPC, not in the the canvas JTAG PPC, there is a target for E39A, and we can select that one. If you look at the configuration, uh, this is the JTAG PPC, and it's the Z6 protocol. And um, we don't need to do any password checking here. Um, I'm going to power on the target. So give it 12 volt, and then we can hit detect. And you see the debug on here, on the lower right side, USB connected. The CPU uh, JTAG ID is here and the CPU here. So we are going to read the flash. Um, since we already read this flash with the canvas, so I'm going to load this here. And we remember we take about one minute and 34 seconds to read the entire flash. Now I'm going to use the JTAG method to read it and I'm going to verify it. So verify. And notice the speed is about 620 uh, kilobyte per second. So the entire read takes about five seconds. I'm also going to read the shadow and notice this shadow has been modified. The password is still the same. The only difference is the uh, 55AA, 55AA versus the previous shadow. If you look at the previous shadow is 4550. So this has to be modified to the 55AA uh, to be able to uh, use the JTAG. Okay, so let's do one more round read uh, for the flash. So we have confirmed that the read from the JTAG method and the CAM bus method, they do match. So I'm going to now show the erase of the flash. 
So I'm going to click the button erase. Uh, by the way, do not mess around with the shadow um, easily. Uh, if you need help to enable the JTAG, please contact me. I'm going to help you to how to enable the JTAG uh, on the canvas side. So let's do the erase for the flash. So erase, erase the flash. Yes. So flash erased. Now I'm going to blank check if this uh, flash is being erased or not. It's blanked. I'm going to reprogram it. So let's take a look how fast compared to the canvas method. I'm going to program this flash. Uh, it will do extra erase. and look at the speed. This is give you about 100 kilobyte per second of write speed instead of the previously we got about 28 kilobyte per second of programming. So this will be within like 30 seconds we finish the programming. Okay, it's finished in 31 seconds. Uh, let's see if we have a good write. So yes, for E37, we are able to use three methods to program it. One is the regular cam method, canvas method. You do not need to open the case, back case. The second method is the BAM met, uh, boot assistant method. This is when you fail to program it or make it bricked, then you need to take it off this uh, case and program it to use the BAM uh, boot assistant method. The third method is for advanced user. When you uh, run, want to write your own kernel, you want to program a lot and the speed of the current uh, the canvas method is, is too slow for you, then you need to do some modification for the shadow and sort a resistor here and use the JTAG uh, connection or pogos and you can achieve very 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 fast programming. 